Hello everyone, Adam Hooper here again from Sperm Nation World. Uh, look what we got here. Hold on two sacks. Let's, let's get, put the lighter back on. I mean this is pretty good. But let's have a look. Alright, so now the light's back on. Um, look, in 2000, well you know when I became sperm donor, I you know, heard of people using speculums and, you know, it was, you know, it wasn't something that you'd normally get. It's normally something that you relate to uh, a pap smear with. And obviously a lot of women are quite, you know, when they think of a pap smear, they think, oh, uncomfortable. Obviously, you're not getting yourself stimulated um, when you go for a pap smear. So it does help um, to you know, to have yourself stimulated before you insert one of these. Now, why would you use one of these? Well, I've been doing a lot of research and over the last couple of years, especially since 2018, looking into, you know, uh, success rates and, and if it's um, any beneficial. And I come to the conclusion that now it's going to be included in the... Um, an artificial insemination kit from the Sperm Nation World web page because uh, we have seen uh, women that use it tend to have uh, a higher success rate and this is because you are able to open up you're able to open it up the labia and with the assistance of the light you can see your whole cervix. Now, we had a bit of an issue. Obviously, we used to, most people use the oral syringe that you can get from, you know, um, chemists and stuff like that. But obviously, you can see that tip's not very um, appropriate and they're, and they're wider. And obviously, so when you're trying to inseminate, you're only getting that far in now with uh, the introduction of the uh, artificial insemination uh, specifically um, you know specifically designed for artificial insemination uh, you've got because these are longer than your uh, old ones you've actually you know, you can actually say so you got your sperm in there, for instance. I haven't got any sperm to showcase today for you, sorry, unfortunately. Uh, so you got the vagina open like that, and you are able to get it that far in, right close to the cervix. And then, so this is obviously being held in by the, so this is not going to be moving, but obviously, then you can inseminate the sperm like that with your light on of course and you can see exactly where you want to line it up you know you'll be able to see the cervix you know before what the suggestion was in the AI kits and stuff like that the instruction was was you needed to manually feel where the cervix is because everyone's a little bit different uh, you know is it like that or uh, like that um, you know it's and then when you put the syringe in you're sort of just trying to you know angle it to where you think you felt the cervix so ultimately you know you're inseminating where you think and your cervix might be here and you're still off and you're hitting you're hitting there uh, so you basically Having a speculum, is you, you're able to see the cervical wall and the cervix starts to open as uh, the mucus, mucus plug uh, dis dissolves during, uh, obviously, it's what allows the sperm to actually get through. So this here, you're allowed to, you know, you'll be able to pinpoint where exactly the sperm is going and you can see and you could drop it right on that cervical cer cervix. And then you can, you've just placed it right there where it needs to go straight in. Uh, you know, so obviously you're taking out any uh, confusion or you, you know, any guessing of 
of where you're where you're putting it and that in itself is why we are noticing uh, high success rates in people that are using the speculum uh, to buy them off uh, you know the internet you know they're quite costly you know up to $20 and then normally you're paying $10 postage as well so you know to have them included in the kit um, is you know uh, with the syringes and stuff like that that you can't buy anywhere else is obviously um, I'm looking really forward to putting this product out there and uh, getting, you know, helping more people uh, fall pregnant through at home insemination. So um, that's the reason why we're bringing it out because we always want to constantly improve success rates and have the um, the best success rates of uh, any uh, alternative option uh, available. And we want to see, you know, uh, people have uh, create their families this way so and I think the speculum uh, is uh, going to assist everyone tremendously in you know in their quest of um, becoming uh, a parent so anyway uh, I just thought I'd you know chat to you today and let you know uh, about it and why we're we introducing the speculum and, and how much a, you know how good it is um, potentially how good it is for uh, been able to contribute in your baby making journey. Anyway, over and out. Catch us later.